What's up you guys, my name is Alex Bradshaw, I am a local realtor born and raised in the city of Federal Way and today we are going to dive into what it is like and what you should expect if you are moving into the city of Federal Way. If you guys are coming onto this page because you are thinking about buying a home here, please reach out. I am a local real estate agent and I'd like to say I know a thing or two about Federal Way. But if you're just hopping on here because you want to know more about the city, this is the right video for you. We're going to talk about location, things to do, what to expect as far as the best neighborhoods, home prices, and even schools that your kids might attend. Let's start off by talking about location. Now Federal Way is in a very unique spot where you are not super close to the city, but you are within arm's length. So what I like to tell people is that you're roughly 35 minutes away from the city of Seattle, and you're about 25 minutes away from the city of Tacoma, which are the two major cities located here in Washington state. Now, the great thing about being a little bit far out from the city is the cost of everything is just a little bit cheaper. Now, the average home price in Seattle as of today is roughly $770,000, whereas when you come down to Federal Way, the average home price is 576,000. You also won't get that feel that everyone is right next to you as far as where your home location is because everyone has a little bit of land out here, which is very nice to have. I like to tell everyone that Federal Way is like the perfect middle location as far as being not too close to the city, but also getting the best bang for your buck. Now, if we're talking about what county we are in, we are in King County, but we're right on the border. So anywhere south of Federal Way is actually located and technically in Pierce County. Also, we're located near a bunch of great beaches. So we have Redondo Beach, which is kind of on the border of Federal Way in Des Moines. And then if you're going a little bit more south, you're gonna find Dash Point, which is another great beach to go and, and spend time with your kids at. Now let's dive into home prices and what you can expect to spend and get in the state of Washington and more specifically in the city of Federal Way. Now we spoke a little bit about how Seattle's average home price is 770,000. Well, the nice thing about Federal Way is that the average home price is 576,000, which will get you a nice three bedroom, two bathroom home. It is a nice little place to get the best bang for your dollar without being too far from the city of Seattle. Next up, I wanna show you guys what 650 to $700,000 can get you. Now this is definitely an upper range house, whereas if you're in Seattle, this is actually the bottom of the barrel. You get quite a bit of house and land for that amount of money here in Federal Way and there's tons of people that are actually moving out of Seattle into Federal Way because of that value that you get down here. And last but not least, we have an $850,000 house to $900,000. Now this is definitely the top of the line. This is the best of the best in Federal Way. Now, most houses above $900,000 are very, very nice. As you guys can see on the screen, you're gonna get something larger with potentially a nice view of the water that we have down here, either Redondo Beach or Dash Point. All in all, you're gonna get the best bang for your buck down here without being too far from the city. So if you have a job that is in Seattle, I believe it's a great place to live here in Federal Way. Um, just cause you're not too far and you still get the benefits of making the good money up in Seattle. Now let's talk about amenities. Things to do, I mean, that's probably why you're here. You wanna know exactly what Federal Way has to offer as far as things that you can do with your family, friends, or just going out on a day by yourself. I mentioned this before, we do have a couple of beaches here, but we also have tons of parks and trails. So if you like nature, you have a dog, and you like to go around, it is a great place to travel down here and explore the parks that we have. We have Dumas Bay Park, beautiful view of the water, and a great place to walk your dog, especially on a sunny day. In the summertime, we have tons of farmer's markets. We have Wild Waves Theme Park, which is a great place to bring your kids. They have like a season pass. It's 100, 150 bucks and you can bring them as many times as you want. It's a great place to bring your kids if you just want something to do with them on the weekends. We also have the Commons Mall here, which is the biggest mall located in Federal Way. And although it's not the greatest mall in the world as far as shopping, it does have the CenturyLink movie theater that has great movies and great comfy places to sit when you are there watching. Not only that, but again, you're only 30 minutes from Seattle. So if you wanna go zip up there for the weekend or you wanna go up there on a little day trip, you absolutely can. You can go visit everything in Seattle and in Tacoma without being too far away. Now let's talk about neighborhoods, schools, and what to expect as far as crime living here in Federal Way. Now, in my opinion, these are the three greatest neighborhoods in Federal Way. They're very safe, have a great base of community. The local schools are right next to all three of these neighborhoods, although all three are located in different spots of Federal Way. Now, Twin Lakes is where you'll find a nice starter home, anywhere from 550 to 650. Um, it's nice at Decatur High School, Green Gables Elementary, and Lakota Middle School. So all three of those schools are great. It's probably the best high school in my opinion, um, along with one of the better middle schools. 
Now, if you move over to Marine Hills, you're going to be in a location that is very nice. Now, this is probably the next step up where you're not going to find anything for less than $650 to $750. Um, you have Nautilus Elementary in the neighborhood. You have Sacagawea Middle School up the street. Um, and then you have Federal Way High School, which is where I attended. Um, and all three of those are decent schools. Um, not as good as the schools in Twin Lakes, however. Now, last but not least, you have the Ridge. Now, these houses are expensive. They're going to run you anywhere from $750 plus. The neighborhood is beautiful they don't really make custom homes like they do on the ridge anymore but it's a, it's a great place to, to have your kids attend I believe all kids in that neighborhood either go to Decatur or Todd Beamer High School which are two of the better high schools in the area and again I am a local realtor so if you guys have any questions even just moving here or you have any questions about things to do my number is right down below for you guys to check out at 253-250-7520 again I was born and raised here so I know this place like the back of my hand or at least I like to say so please reach out if you guys have any questions about moving here or even just the city itself now that's it for the video you guys I hope that I was able to provide some value for you as far as if you guys decide to move here or just want to know a little bit more about Federal Way now I do believe it's a great place to live and you know I was born and raised here and I turned out all right <laughs> But if you guys do have any questions, again, please reach out. I would love to provide you guys with some value or at least give you guys my insight on moving here and even the surrounding areas if you're thinking about moving to Washington as a whole. So with that being said, thank you guys again. My name is Alex Bradshaw, local realtor here in Federal Way, and hope you guys have a great day. Thank you guys.